Hi, I'm going to show you how to find all real and complex zeros of a polynomial function. The first example is f of x equals x to the third power minus x squared minus 9x plus 9. The first thing you're going to want to do is type it in on your graphing calculator and hit graph. <clears throat> it's going to show you a graph of your line like this. As you can see, all points are touching the x-axis, so all you're going to do is press second calc and do like zero, right bound, left bound. So you find your first zero and it is negative three. Okay, so that's your first zero, negative three. Now, time to find the other one. You go, and it is one. You do it one last time for your last zero, and you come up with. Now, since the degree of the function is 3, that means you're only going to have 3 zeros. So all, in, in this case, all zeros are real. Okay, the next example is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be g of x equals x to the third power minus x squared plus 4x minus 4. Type it in on your calculator. <clears throat> Graph. This line is going to be a little bit different because it has three possible zeros judging by the degree. However, it only shows one point where it crosses. So that means you're going to have one real zero and two imaginary zeros. So second calc, find the value of this particular zero, which will be one. Okay, one is your real zero. So the way to find the two imaginary zeros is through synthetic division. The way you do this is you put one in a box. <laughs> And then you take the coefficients of the x's and then the last number and write them at the top. So in this case, it's going to be 1, negative 1, 4, and negative 4. Okay, then you draw a line under it. You bring down the first number. So you have 1, like that. And then you do 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, and then 1 times 4 is 4, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Now, you're going to make a new function. So you cross out that last 0, and then now it's going to be x squared plus 4. You take that and you set it equal to zero, so you do x squared plus four equals zero. <laughs> Subtract the four on both sides, and all you're left with is x squared equals negative four. You take the square root. Okay, in math you don't have negative square roots, so what you do is you take out the square root of negative one. Now, the square root of negative one is called i. So what you're going to do is end up having the square root of 4 times i. So you got rid of the negative. So you're going to be left with 2i. Since it's a square root, you're going to have a positive and negative value. So all your zeros, real and imaginary, are 1 and plus or minus 2i. And that's the answer to that.
Thank you.